Anak Commander has brought another wintry game with him to celebrate the Winter Olympics, and that game is Mogul Maniac for your Atari 2600. So let's go ahead and take Mogul Maniac, the power system, plug it into my Atari 2600 Junior, and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Mogul Maniac was published by Amiga before they released their line of computers and carries a corporate year of 1983. According to the manual, the objective of Mogul Maniac is to get through the open and closed gates and down the mountain as quickly as possible without breaking anything on or around your body. Mogul Maniac is a downhill skiing game for one player at a time. Mogul Maniac came bundled with the Joy Board controller, which you would stand on to use. With this game to simulate skiing, you would lean left to go right and right to go left, forward to go faster and backward to go slower. Other games were going to be developed for it, but never came out. The Joy Board appeared apparently wasn't all that effective and may have been prone to breaking. Thankfully, you can also use a joystick to control the game, which is what I will be basing my review on since I do not have a joy board. To use the joystick, the black and white switch needs to be put in black and white mode. And when it is, pressing left on the joystick goes left, right goes right, up goes faster, and down goes slower. However, this presents a problem for Atari 7800 owners, since the only way to have the system in black and white mode is to hold down the pause button without releasing it. This means to use a joystick, 7800 owners would either have to find a way to keep the pause button pressed down while playing, or get used to pressing left to go right and right to go left, or hold the joystick upside down, but in that case, down will go faster and up will go slower. Both difficulty switches can be used in the game. When the left difficulty switch is in the B position, you lose 5 seconds for each gate you fail to go in between, but in the A position, if you miss a gate, your time automatically reaches the highest time possible. When the right difficulty switch is in the A position, moguls are added to the course, but to me, all this seemed to do was make the gates go up and down, and it didn't really change the feel of the game. The game offers 9 courses to ski, with a map of each course shown in the manual. The courses have anywhere from 25 to 63 gates to go through, and a top speed anywhere from 22 to 40, although the manual does not say what kind of units those numbers are measured in. You are supposed to ski your selected course twice, with your two times combined and shown after your second run. If you get bored, you can also veer off the course and ski around some trees on the mountain. Graphically speaking, while basic, the game actually does a pretty good job simulating a 3 3D downhill skiing course for the 2600, and I like how you can see the front of your skis. Sound and music wise, you have some decent basic sounds during the game itself, and an interesting rendition of the Olympic Bugler's Dream theme that plays before and after your game. Family friendly wise, I anticipate that this game would get an E for everyone rating if it was released today. At the time I researched on eBay, including shipping, there was only one loose copy that sold recently for $10. There was also one loose copy that sold with the Joy Board controller for $115, and Joy Board controllers by themselves were selling for $48 to $66. So what did I think of Mogul Maniac? When I first tried out the game, I wasn't too impressed. It just seemed way too slow, but then I discovered that the first game variation was the slowest, and I tried some of the faster variations. And once I did, I found that the faster the game went, the more I enjoyed it. It controls well with the joystick and does a pretty good job bringing 3D skiing to the 2600. Sure, some more details would have been nice, as well as the ability to jump, but I actually had more fun playing this than Activision skiing or Intellivision skiing, and I could see myself playing this one again, maybe even every four years, wink wink. So where am I going to rank Mogul Maniac? Somewhere in the 70s. I do like Donkey Kong more at 76, but I will put this over another 3D style game that came with a special controller, Survival Run at 77. So out of the 149 games I've now ranked on the Atari 2600, Mogul Maniac is skiing into the 77 position. Mogul Maniac can be a fun skiing game as long as you ski on the fast course and play it on a 2600 instead of a 7800. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please click like and subscribe and follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. At this time, I'd like to thank all of my extraordinary Patreon supporters, including Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. If you appreciate the work I do and enjoy my videos, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter by signing up at patreon.com slash gamer starting at a single dollar a month. Not only will you help make videos like this possible, but you will also gain access to some exclusive content. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and hit the slopes, not your joy board. You might break it if you do.